Hello everyone! In this video we will look at a package which is called URL Launcher and with this one you can basically send emails, you can open links, you can send phone calls and SMS. This is really powerful this tool so let's get started. So first of all you go to pub.dev and then you type here URL Launcher and here the first one, so it's even a Flutter favorite, so it's like really great package. And here inside we go to the installing section, copy this dependency, and then we go back to our Flutter project and go into the pub spec jumble file and here under dependencies you add this url launcher like i did it here all right this is the configuration step and now we can go to our main dart file and here i have created already something so if you haven't watched my last video here is like a basic button which you can display so if you like you can also watch this video first of all like a text and if we click on this button then we want to call the services of the URL launcher. So the first thing what we want to do here is to call this open link because this one is the most basic one and here we get also this on clicked handler. So every time we press on this button then we want to execute something. So we want to call here utils and we want to name it here open link and inside of this we have a URL and we simply want to open for example flutter.dev this is the flutter website and yeah let's create here a new file which we call utils.dart and here inside we want to create this method so let's import it and then we press here command dot again to create this method and then we can go here to our utils again and then we create here this method further. So basically how everything is working is we call here something which is called launch URL. So this is our basic method which we want to call every time and here we put an URL inside. So we create here this method and this method will be private and what we are doing here is we are making use of this package url launcher and this has two methods basically so one is can launch so we test if this url is valid and if we can launch it and if that's the case then we want to launch it so let's first of all import this can launch so it will import this package we also need to put here an async and a future in, in front now we simply need to call here launch and url so it's like really basic if we can launch the url then he will launch it, otherwise he will not launch it. And yeah, this is simply the first step, what we need to do here. So I will also add here this required statement. And now we have here our first method created. So it's like the most simple one. And yeah, let's try it out maybe. So we hot reload it, you see it directly here. Yeah, and maybe I center this button here. So let's put here main axis alignments center and let's hot reload it again and now it is centered and every time if we press here nothing will happen so i guess the format of the url is not right so let's change it so we write here in front http and now if we hot reload it and then if we press on this button then you see okay he is forwarding us to the browser and then he's opening up this web page so this was the first step, opening a link. So this is really basic. Now we want to open an email. So this is a little bit more complicated. Let's go back to our app. And here inside we create another button, which we call then open email. And here we create a new method, which is called open email. And this gets basically three parameters. So first of all, we want to say to whom we're sending this email. So for example, to example, at gmail.com then we have here something which is the subject so this is the title which you have in every email so i write here hello world and then you have the body where you put your main message inside and here we put for example this works and now we go here and create this method so let's go to our utils and here we have this method and now we want to open up the URL again with this launch URL method, which we have created before. So this is this basic one here. Here inside, we want to set a URL. 
And this time we need to create this URL a little bit more complicated, but this is like a formal thing. So here you write final URL and then you need to follow some syntax. So first of all, mail to, this is the normal syntax, then comes the email, then a question mark, subject, and then we can set all the parameters. And then we set here, first of all, the subject and after it comes the body and we set it here to body. So basically we put here all of our parameters inside, which we put here in our uh, method. And this doesn't work directly because we need to do some more stuff here. So we need to um, encode this subject and this body. And therefore we have here this method, which is called URI encode full. And there we put our subject inside. We make sure that our subject is encoded and we do the same thing for our body. And now we have the body and subject encoded and this is then the final URL. And if we send this URL with this package, then he will open up the email for us. And then we open here up this email. We write it here to example at gmail.com. Like you can see here at the top, we have here this subject and also the body like expected. And yeah, every time if you press on this button, he will yeah open this email and then you need to press send to send this email. And yeah, we also can do the same thing for creating phone call. So I will also copy this one here and put it here under. So let's call it here open call. And then we want to create here a new method, which we call open phone call. And instead of a URL, we put here phone number inside and then you put here basically some phone number inside and then we create this method. So we go again to our utils and here inside we want to create again a URL like we did before for the email. And this time we write it here tell and here we put inside the phone number and then we will call again this method launch URL. So this is the basic method and yeah, this should work. So I also put here required inside so that we make sure that we always put here phone number inside and let's hot reload it. All right. And now let's go back to the main dot dot and let's hot reload this file. And then you see, okay, we have here this open call. And if you press on it, then he will open up this phone and you can call this person with this phone number, which we have entered here. So this is the third thing what you can do. And the last thing what I want to show you is how you can send an SMS. And therefore we do the, exactly the same thing. We create here a new button. We call it here open SMS. And for this SMS, we also need a phone number. So we keep this here. Then we create here this new method. And back in our utils, we will then write here a new URL like we did before in the phone call and also in the email. And this time we write here SMS and then we write here the phone number. So this is a different protocol. This is SMS, this was telephone. And then we simply call again this evade launch URL. And yeah, that's it. So let's go back to our app and go back to our main file and press hot reload. Then you see here this button open SMS and let's press it. And now you see he will open here the SMS messenger on your phone and then you can write here some message on it. So this is about this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So basically in this video we learned how we can use this URL launcher to open a link, an email and a call and an SMS and then you need some user interaction after it to send for example the email or to make the call or to write this message with your SMS. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.